this pediatric sub-analysis of our phase three uh, pivotal data on mipomersin or kinamro um, is looking specifically at those patients in our studies that were actually pediatric. As we know, homozygous familial hypercholesterolemia, or homozygous FH, um, is an inherited genetic disorder, and therefore um, it's generally considered, you know, a pediatric disorder from birth, although unfortunately we don't tend to find these people until they, often until they have an event, um, although those high LDL, sometimes excruciatingly high LDL levels have been present since birth. Um, the product works to inhibit ApoB100 uh, in the liver, which decreases the production of the LDL particle. Um, and in these seven pediatric patients, which ages ranged uh, between uh, 12 and 16, we actually looked at a cutoff of 18, but the, the, the oldest of these seven was 16. Um, there was, uh, because of the randomization process, uh, three received mipomersin in the initial index trial. The other four were randomized to placebo. However, then going into the open label extension of the study, those four placebo patients actually elected then to go into that and they received mipomersin there. So we have data on actually seven patients that received mipomersin um, and were pediatric, which is important because um, it, it's challenging to find homozygous FH patients uh, anyway, so um, even though that's a low number, that's actually um, uh, quite new, um, and uh, there's a lot of data that we still don't have yet in the pediatric space. Um, what we saw then with these patients with mipomersin was a significant reduction in ApoB um, LDLC, which was the primary endpoint, as well as LP little a. Um, and in terms of safety, what we were really looking for here was to see if there were any different safety indicators that might, um, you know, show a red flag. But we did not see anything um, unexpected, no new safety uh, indicators, and uh, was quite similar to what we saw in the adult population.